Hi, Todd Dunn here on March 2nd, 2019. Uh, today, I'm going to do a short video about putting my Fisher HT snowplow on my 2019 Ram 1500 Classic with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. And uh, so, we're going to walk through the procedure. Now, this is a little different than it has been in the past for a couple of reasons, and I'm going to show you what those reasons are right now. The first thing that I want to point out is that the mounting brackets for the plow are down here quite low. They're much lower, maybe three or four inches lower than they were on my 2009 Chevy Silverado. And that has created an issue with the plow itself, which I'll show you now. Okay, here's the uh, Fisher HT plow, and the big difference is that I no longer have the jack on it. Instead, I have the plow sitting on these blocks of wood. The reason for that is that the uh, mounts for the plow on the truck are so low that I was unable to swing the jack down and engage it so it wouldn't lock. So basically I couldn't use it and had to take it off in order to make the plow work. So I've been putting it on these blocks of wood instead, which has some benefits. Now my plow is a bit old and it does have uh, a bit of a leaky check valve in it and once you set it down the uh, main lift here does gradually settle back down it's been about a week since I used it so the uh, mounts get angled up like this so it's a bit of a trick to get it lined up properly so what I'm gonna do is go through lining the plow up and hopefully get it on the truck in the next couple of minutes because the snow which we're expecting somewhere in the 10 to 14 inch range is just starting to spit the first few flakes so let's hop in the truck and i'll show you the lineup procedure all right now i've got the camera set up at about head height maybe slightly lower and looking out the front of the truck and we're going to drive around here and get lined up oops, with the plow. My tripod mount is a little unstable in the truck, as I'm sure you can see. There we go. Maybe that will be better. So one of the issues with this truck, with the relatively low plow mounts and the fact that the uh, hood on this truck is quite high and short compared to the Chevy, is getting the plow lined up. I got a pretty good idea of where it's supposed to go. As you can see, there's the plow up there. And what's going to happen as I come close to it, it disappears. And you can't see it anymore. So you just have to sort of guess. And I think I'm too far to the left. So I'm going to back up a little. There we go. It's in gear again. And we'll see what we can do here. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm about right this time. And we'll see how it goes. So what I have to do is come up close. And the plow completely disappears. I can't see it anymore. Now I'll get out and go take a look and see how I'm lined up. And all right, I'm about three inches too far to the left. So back her up again and see what we can do about getting her straightened out. This is a bit fussy. It usually takes two or three goes to get it lined up properly. And I know the plow is there, but as I said, except for the 
wands on the ends of the plow, I cannot see it. This is complicated a little bit by the fact that my driveway here is completely covered with ice. <laughs> Okay, that's got it. I'm lined up, so now I'm just going to push forward until the truck engages with the plow. Coming in very slowly. And uh, we'll just creep forward. All right, there we go. Now that I've physically engaged the plow, I'm going to go hook up the electrical and then come back and turn the plow on. And for the rest of this, I'm gonna set the camera up outside so you can see what's going on. Okay, there you can see the electrical connectors. We've got two. This is the connector for the battery cables. Plug that in. And this is the light connector. plug that in. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is go and uh, turn the plow on. All right, now the plow is turned on and it's in the float setting so that I can move it around a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is just shift the plow orientation so that we'll line up a little bit better. Okay, that's at about the right height, and I think I'm okay. And I could just go and pull the truck forward another inch, but what I think I'm going to do instead is see if I can actually physically shift the plow. Yeah, I think I have to pull it forward. So just a second. Okay, the plow is uh, pushed forward as far as it's going to go, and now I just have to tilt it a little bit more to get it lined up, and hopefully these pins here will pop in. height that doesn't want to move Run the truck forward another little bit. Yeah, well, try to rock it in a little again, again, and get those pins to pop in. There goes one, there goes the other one. So, she's hooked up. So all I have to do now is lift her up, back up, and uh, get ready to plow. Okay, I'm going to uh, raise the plow now, and see, so you really still can't see it, which is one of the things I don't like about this. And at this point, oh, I had to put the door shut. We'll back up 
and it'll probably knock that top board off my stack and I will go and get those boards out of the way so I can plow through there and we'll get the plow put in. Now before I go out and show you what uh, the plow looks like on this truck I want to talk about one of the issues of plowing with this truck. It does not have a mechanical linkage for the gear shift. It has this electronic linkage. I'm in reverse right now. Put it in park there. The disadvantage of that is that it takes a little time to actually shift. So if I put it in reverse takes a fraction of a second to go into reverse and it takes another fraction of a second, maybe a half second to shift into drive. And when I go back into reverse it takes a little bit to shift. So you have to allow for that when you're plowing when you change gears so that you don't try to move when the transmission is halfway between and that takes a little getting used to. Anyway, we're out of gear. I've got it in four-wheel drive for tomorrow. You can see it there, the 4WD on the instrument. So we'll shut her down and we'll walk out and look at the plow a little bit. So here's the plow on the truck and you'll notice the plow mount even now with the plow on the ground is quite low. And that is the issue when it comes to plowing. You can see there, uh, just forward of the plow mount, where the jack used to be. You can see some holes. And I had to take it off because the plow is too low to swing the jack that came with this plow down and uh, lock it in the vertical position. It just simply wouldn't work. But other than that, <coughs> the plow works very well. The only other issue I've had is that you can see where the electrical connections come through the uh, front bumper. Those electrical connections pass through a very small hole and when the people that installed the uh, truck side mount put those in, they didn't put adequate chafe protection and one of the wires chafed through and I was getting intermittent control and that caused a lot of problems when I first had the plow. I took it back though and they did replace the cable and put what they said was adequate chafe protection in. We'll have to see how that holds up. So here's the plow. It's on there. This is a Fisher HT with a seven and a half foot straight blade and you can see I've got a half inch thick uh, steel cutting edge on there which does make a lot of difference. So at this point we're ready to plow. The only thing I have to do uh, is lift the wiper blades off the windows so that I won't have so much uh, of an issue clearing the snow which is going to accumulate on the truck in the next 24 hours before I plow uh, tomorrow morning. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in this video, but it has started snowing with very small snowflakes. Before I go, I thought I'd show you the plow control. It's very simple, up, down, right, left, and when you put it down all the way, you just push the down button until that little green LED at the top comes on. If I lift it, there we go, and when I lower it, it'll hit the ground, and at this point, without that green LED on, the plow is uh, going to be more or less in a fixed position. And if I hit irregularities, it'll have to bounce over them. If I put that green light comes on though, it's in what's called float mode, and the hydraulics will let the plow move up and down and follow the ground. Okay, let's get those wipers set up and be ready to plow. Okay, the truck is all set, ready to plow. And that's it. That's all there is to putting the plow on. The fact that the jack doesn't work anymore because the plow mounts are too low on the truck is a bit of a hassle, but the blocks of wood work pretty well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing how well the plow goes on my 2019 Ram 1500 
Classic with the 5.7 Hemi V8. You can see I got my wipers up off the windshield to make it a little easier to clean. And we're ready to go and we'll see how much snow we get tonight. It's supposed to be a two-phase storm with an, a four to six inches tonight and maybe another eight to ten on Sunday night into Monday. So it could be a bit of a, an issue with places to put the snow, but uh, fortunately, since I don't expect to get that much in any one segment, it shouldn't be an issue to plow. So we're ready to go and we'll see how it works. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing how the plow goes on to this uh, 2019 Ram. And uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And maybe if conditions are appropriate, I'll do a little bit of a plowing video tomorrow or Monday. Thanks for watching.